AJ, um, I can identify that I've made women my God. Yep. And I'm practicing that at the moment with my wife. Yep. Um, I uh, recently been trying, or thinking about, not trying, thinking about doing something about it. Yeah. But I think it's the fear of of uh, outcomes that prevents me. This is the main problem for most of the men, Don. Mm. There, it is the fear of the outcome that causes us to run away from truth and love in the situation. And the outcome, the problem, the problem is, for the majority of us, we've fed our wives or, or our partner, the, the women in our life, including our daughters, in your case, including your daughters, and you've fed them so many untruths about themselves, right, about their rightness and righteousness and all these other things, how good they are and beautiful they are and all these other things, that actually are things that... Uh, that they're now used to receiving, that once you stop saying these things to them, there's going to be a backlash. Uh, uh, there is going to be a backlash. And the majority of us guys are so afraid of the backlash <laughs> that we don't engage the process. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and unfortunately, for many of these ladies, they are going to get very angry, very angry because they are so used to receiving this kind of, you know, princess type of treatment yeah. that they expect it every single moment of every single day. And as soon as you don't deliver, there is going to be trouble. And this is one of the biggest problems we face, is the, the fear of what the trouble will be. Right? And for many of us, we may find our relationships will completely disintegrate as a result. And, and that... And, or disintegrate for a period of time, you know, until the woman starts to be self-reflective herself. Now, now we can't force her to be self-reflective about what's going on. We can make suggestions, like we can say, like I, I've had to say to Mary at different times, babe, you, you've been fed this belief from your father that you, you know, should be the, the centre of my, my world and attention. And the reality is the feeling inside of me is that Mary is, but... but the, the reality also is I'm allowed to have desires and I'm allowed to have things in my life that I enjoy and if you don't honour that and yet I honour yours, we're out of harmony with Essex straight away. Right? Now, now, either you want to address that or you don't. That's okay. If you don't, then I'm perfectly happy to live alone until such time as you come to your senses that I'm allowed to have the same kind of desires you have. Right? Now, unfortunately for many of you guys... Um, you might be living alone for a while or permanently from this the woman that you're currently with if you do that right? because she might not have the same developed desire for truth that Mary had inside of her where she was willing to look at these issues but there's little you can do about that if you want to have a relationship with God you're going to have to honour love and truth in all interactions and then let things go go where they go, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. throwing the dice in the air and seeing how it all falls in the end. Yeah, right. And that's what most of us don't want to do. No, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a concern. It is, it's, yeah. a, it's a major concern, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I... I like I, I've been in this situation a number of times in my life where I was doing everything for the woman and she, she <coughs> was not even seeing half the time what was, ha what she was being done for her. And as soon as I began to address it with the, with the first woman, as soon as I began to address it, that was it. She didn't want a relationship anymore. Just like that. Address one thing, that's it. <laughs> that's how much addiction there was to me feeding all of these things in her. Does mm, that make mm. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Just angry and bitter. And this will be the case and you've got to have courage. And, and this is where it is hard because if the woman you are with is your soulmate or you think she is, um, then, gee, it might be a bit of a hard road. But if you, if you think about it, in a way, we've assisted them to become the monster they now are <laughs> by yeah. feeding all of this, all of this d 
desire or addiction in them, we've mm. fed the monster and that's made the monster bigger. Mm. You know, if right back at the beginning in our relationship we started to confront these issues, we might have had one or two rocky years and then uh, been had a good relationship after that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but we were too afraid even then because we were taught by our mothers to do something different. Yeah. Mm. So it does require courage, Donna, it's quite difficult. Yeah, yeah courage is very important. <laughs> yeah, courage for God's truth. Courage to, uh, like, this is where, what helps me the most is I go, okay, my desire for God is stronger than anything else. Does that make sense? And my desire for God means that anything that's interfering my, with my desire for God, I've got to address if I really want to have a relationship with God. And that means I've got to, if my relationship is, if there's unloving things occurring in my relationship that I can identify, or I am feeding the addictions of my partner, which is an unloving thing to do, then I've got to address that. And, and while I might love my partner, at the end of the day I do it because I love her. I, I address these issues because I love her. Because the only way for our soul to grow towards God is for one of us to get into a better condition than where we are. Now if that person happens to be me, and that's the only person I can control myself, if that person happens to me, now the other half has a chance to join me in that new condition. Right? But if I don't act, then the other half is going to have to do it all herself first, and then I'll have to join her. Now I feel what is a loving thing to do for your other half is to actually do all the work you possibly can, and, and that will draw her to join you, or draw him to join you. If, you know, and that's really what we want to do.